This is part 15 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss ternary operator in JavaScript. Ternary operator can be used as a shortcut for if-else statement. First, let's look at the syntax. With the ternary operator, we'll first have a boolean expression. Boolean expressions return true or false. If the boolean expression returns true, then the statements that are present after the question mark will be executed. And if this expression returns false, then the statements that are present after colon symbol will be executed. Let's look at an example. Let's first write a program that's going to check whether the provided number is even or odd. Let's do that using if-else statement. And then we will see how to replace that if-else statement with a ternary operator. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So first, we want to prompt the user to enter a number. So let's use the prompt function for that. Please enter a number. In case if the end user didn't enter any number, then we want to return empty string as the default. This prompt function is going to return the value in any text format. Let's convert that to a number format using number function. And let's create a variable to store the number. Let's also create another variable to hold the message, that is, whether the number is even or odd. If user input modulus 2 equals 0. So if a number is divided by 2 and if the remainder is 0, then we know it's an even number, in which case we want to initialize this message variable with the string. Your number is even. In case if the boolean expression returns false, then it comes to the else part. And we want to initialize this message variable with this string, your number is odd. And finally, let's pass the message variable to the alert function. Let's quickly run this program and test it. Let's first pass an even number. So it says your number is even. Let's reload the web form. And it says your number is odd. All right. Let's replace this if-else statement using ternary operator. So let's get rid of all these lines. And with the ternary operator, we can check whether the number is even or odd in a single line. So let's use the Boolean expression. User input modulus 2 equals 0. So this Boolean expression is going to return true or false. If it returns true, then we want this string. Your number is even. And if it returns false, then we want this string to be returned. Your number is odd. So what's going to happen here? So with the ternary operator, we will have the Boolean expression first. So this will be evaluated. If this returns true, then this string will be returned. So this string will be used to initialize this variable. If this expression returns false, then this string will be used to initialize this variable. And then we are passing that variable to the alert function. So it should work the same way as before. So let's pass even number. It says your number is odd. Reload the web form. Pass an odd number. And it says your number is odd. Can we have multiple statements per case with the ternary operator? Now, if you look at this example, at the moment, you know, if this expression returns true, then we only have one statement right here. Now, is it possible to have multiple statements executed if this expression returns true? Absolutely. OK, if you want multiple statements to be executed for each case, that is, if this expression returns true, I want to execute multiple statements. If this expression returns false, even in that case, I want to execute multiple statements. It's absolutely possible. And to make it possible, you have to have those multiple conditions within brackets. And each condition must be separated by a comma. Let's look at that in action. So we have the number in this user input variable. So first, we have the Boolean expression. Um, we are checking if it's divisible by 2 or not. If it returns 0 as the reminder, then what we want to do is alert your number is even. So that's one statement that I want to execute. I want another statement to be executed. Alert your number is, and whatever is the number that the end user has entered, we want to display that. So let's use the 
user input variable to do that. So at the moment, notice that we have two statements here, and we want both of these statements to be executed in case if this expression returns true. So we separate the statements with a comma, put both the statements within brackets. So both of these statements will be executed in case if this expression returns true. If the expression returns false, even in that case, I want to execute two statements. And these are the two statements that I want to execute. So alert your number is odd. And then we, want, we also want to print the number. Okay, And we don't need this function anymore. So let's quickly run this and see if we get two alerts. Let's first pass an even number. Click OK. And notice that your number is even. As soon as I click OK, we get another alert. Your number is 4. So both the statements uh, that are present are executed. Let's reload the web form. Pass an odd number. So your number is odd. And then it says your number is 9. So it's possible to execute multiple statements. Now, multiple if else if statements can also be replaced with a ternary operator. Let's look at an example. Let's write a JavaScript function um, you know, that's going to display the month name based on the month number. We'll do that first using if else if statement, and then we'll see how to replace these multiple if else if statements with ternary operator. So first, let's prompt the user to enter a month number and we want only the first three month numbers one two three if they enter anything else we want to display a message saying unknown month name okay so we have the month number in this variable user input if user input is equal to one then we know month name is going to be January so let's create a variable to hold the month name So if user input equals 1, then month name is equal to January. Else if user input equals 2, then month name is February. Else, if user input is 3, then month name is going to be March. Else, if it's not 1, 2, or 3, then we want to simply initialize this month name variable to unknown month. And then finally, we, let's use the alert function and then pass month name variable to it. Okay, so let's quickly test this. So let's enter month 2, so February, let's enter month 9, click OK, and it says unknown month as expected. Now here, we've got multiple if, else, if statements. Now let's see how to replace these with ternary operator. So we can rewrite this entire program using ternary operator. So basically, we can get rid of all these conditions. Then we can say, so month name equals user input is equal to 1. Okay, So that's a Boolean expression. It's going to return true or false. If it returns true, then we know the month is January, in which case we want to return the string January. In case if that expression evaluates to false, then we know it's not number 1. So I am going to check if it is equal to number 2. Okay, So this is a Boolean expression again. So now I can use another question mark here. So if this expression returns true, then we want this string to be returned February. Okay. If this expression returns false, then I want to again check if user input is equal to 3. If that condition is true, then we want to return March. Else, if this expression returns false, then we want to return unknown month. So you can have many conditions with the ternary operator. At the moment, we have three conditions. So let's quickly run this and see if it works the same way. So first, let's pass 2. 
it says February, let's reload the web form, let's pass 3, it says March, reload, let's pass 10, unknown month. So it's also possible to have multiple conditions. Thank you for listening and have a great day.